Hi, we have an outcoming feature that is called Playgrounds and with Playgrounds you can create new screens to your games and manipulate the them the same way you manipulate the maps. Um, let me show you the uh, functionality real quick. Let's create a simple game using Creator Pro interface, so you need to use Creator Pro for that. And um, you can see that we have five tasks in a game and we can start creating rules. So action rules are uh, to show something on a map, show something on a list or open something for answering. And uh, we have not uh, added any playgrounds yet so let's go and add some playgrounds. You can add playgrounds from the configuration screen and you can add up to five playgrounds. Let's call the first playground just floor one and the name for the playground will also be a button in the application, so choose it wisely. You can add a uh, background color, and I'm just going to use the green here. And then you will need to uh, add the image. And I will add the background image for that. And uh, the plan is to add a sample floor, uh, floor plan there. Now I can also uh, decide what do I want to show on the uh, <coughs> pin and let's show nothing on the pin at the moment. <coughs> and you can also decide if you want to open the tasks on playground by clicking on them or not. Okay. So if the playground is added you don't need to do anything else but go back to the rules. You can see that you have your first playground here. I have used the PNG file with uh, transparency, so the background color actually shows through, so it's all, all uh, absolutely seamless. Okay. So what I will do now is that I will show some uh, icons on that, and you see that we have a new block here, show on playground, and we are going to use that. And we are going to show task one on the first playground and you can see that it asks you to select the position. Now it's important to know that you can't put it anywhere you have to put it onto the background image so the entire green area is just the background color so it's not actually something that we use we use the image here okay so let me put it onto the table here okay now what I can do is that it's, if I hover over it and use my uh, scroll wheel I can zoom in I can zoom out as well. And important to notice is that this size will be preserved relative to the background image. So when in the device, zooming in and out, that means that the icon will zoom in and out as well. Okay, let's add another icon there. Let's duplicate the show map. Let's get rid of the first icon and let's say we'll put the task 5 there as well. Click on the somewhere and you can see that it's actually displayed in the full size. So it's important to know that we do not uh, scale down the background image and the icons as well. So you better actually just use sensible sizes so that you don't overload your game. And I'm putting it here. Okay. So we have created two rules and what happens now in the game is that when you start a game you will instantly see the floor one. Okay. But what we can do is that we can also manipulate these tasks as said. And uh, and uh, let's let's do it that way that we only show those tasks when task two is answered. So put in a and we also need to put in of course in the game in the start of the game that we open task 2 okay so what happens now is that when you start a game you will get task 2 open and after you have um, answered task 2 you will see the playground 1 and on the playground you have two tasks okay so that is that is first thing what you can do. Now what we can also do is that we have set one playground. Let's add another playground. And let's call it something else. Let's 
let's call it uh, sandbox just you know and let's uh, add a flower as a background color you can also set custom color so and custom color can be whatever color you actually choose so you can customize it very well and we're gonna use that and I will upload it from the computer um, we're just gonna use one of, of the test images and we want to show task order on the pin and we don't want them to actually be able to to open on the black background playground so they just for for visibility and we also show task order under the uh, task short intro under the pin okay when we go back to the rules you see that we have sandbox as well that is just a uh, box it's png again it shows the kind of is transparent so the background color shines true and what I can do now is that with action we can say that hey or you know better let's not build another one let's say that hey, we want to only show the box 5 on sandbox 2 that's that's what it is now now on the first one we only have one icon on the sandbox we have another icon so now what happens is that when you start a game you get task 2 and after task 2 is finished you get the see the playground one and playground two that is sandbox the buttons are sandbox and floor one and in the floor one you will see this uh, blue box and uh, blue square and on the uh, playground two that is sandbox you will see the uh, box that has four on each side and on playground one you can click on those and open on on sandbox you cannot do that because we have set the settings up okay now when you save the game that is basically something that will show up in your uh, device as two different buttons when those icons are active thanks